Welcome to Digits. How would you like to attend a football game and feel what the players are feeling? Or maybe you'd like your jacket to tell you how to get somewhere in a new city. According to our next guest, that might be a new reality. Joining me on the set is Billy Whitehouse, founder, designer and director of WeX Wearable Experiments. Thank you for being here. It's a pleasure. And you are, in fact, wearing a piece of clothing that is a, a, a wearable experiment that can tell you to do um, amazing things. E explain how it works and, and why we might be interested. Precisely. Well, we, what we notice is that everyone who's wandering around the city, in particular New York, is so dependent on their screen. They're constantly wandering around like this, trying to figure out where to go. And we thought, why not give them an option to travel around the city hands-free, putting your phone back in your pocket and travel around unimpeded by a map. So what you do is you type in your location of where you're going and then you upload that to your jacket and you can put your phone back away. And that, that jacket you, you've got on now, that has all the stuff in it needed to tell you. It told you how to come to our offices here Precisely. on 6th Avenue, but it looks completely normal. How, how do you manage to do that? What we do is we integrate the electronics inside the jacket. We think it's really important that people don't look or feel like a computer. I think that's the essence of what wearable technology needs to be. It needs to be exactly as you would normally wear a jacket. And so all the electronics are built into systems inside and they're fully waterproof and they're durable. So you can put that in the washing machine and it'll be fine then you don't need to remember to get them out. It's we not like- We do ideally remove the electronics just for safety, but they are, if, if you get wet and if it rains, you're not gonna get electrocuted. Now you've got some, some other stuff here and this, this is, uh, this is a football and an Australian rules football jersey. If you can, if you can hold sleep. hold that up, um, that's something. It's a it's a very strange game, and it's fun to watch. I've watched it, and it, you've d developed this in a joint venture with Foxtel, which is owned by News Corp, which also owns the Wall Street Journal here. Um, explain what this does, because this looks like um, it could be fun. Depends on what sort of personality you have. How does it work? <laughs> so it's a custom made jersey that we produce for Foxtel, where you experience exactly what the players are feeling. So we've built a language around haptic feedback. And haptic feedback is a vibration sensor. But again, you can't see the electronics in here. So it's built inside the t-shirt and you wear it. And as you watch and your favorite team, you select which team you're gonna follow. You can then feel the collective emotion of that team. So whether it's despair when they miss a goal or whether it's excitement when they score one or whether it's just general heart rate. Uh, and we were discussing a, a moment ago about, are you gonna have some like headgear for someone who who's maybe um, in a boxing match and you could feel the, the blows to the, the the boxer as they try and duke it out with their opponent. Is that something you could conceive of in the future? Absolutely, I think there are amazing opportunities with wearables in particular with this kind of technology where you can experience exactly what you're, what you're watching at the same time. And how fast do you think this will take off? Because one of the things I've, I've noticed is that since we didn't have to wear watches because the, the, the time is on your phone, a, a lot of people like me just don't wear a, a wristwatch anymore and I probably you know never will again and I'm happy not to. Do, do you think people are just gonna embrace this in, in, a, in a huge way or will it be a niche? I think that there are fans in, a, in the United States particularly who are sports obsessed and they want to get as close as they can to their favourite player and their favourite team. So I think it will take off. I think particularly here there is such an excitement around your favourite sport that we will hopefully see it go much bigger and much better. So if, if you are playing American football, are you going to open it with the bruises on you? Are you going to be like, take it off and they'll be black and blue, just like the players? <laughs> Not exactly. And you can turn up the vibration sense if you would like it harder or if you'd like it softer. It depends on it. It's got to be about the consumer. So it's got to be about what you want. Uh, now, in the past, some clothing has had uh, LEDs. On, on so they light up. These don't have them. What, so what's, the, what's been the change and why? We've decided that um, LEDs are becoming a little bit obtrusive and a little bit invasive on your day to day. I, we're trying to give people an option to live away from the screen and away from flashing lights. So we wanted to make this less obtrusive, a little bit cleaner and just more intuitive. We think that if you're being tapped on the shoulder to turn left, you know just as well whether you're seeing the lights light up or not. Yeah, and, and that could actually be rather distracting for people. So just like your jacket, it looks uh, stylish and um, no bright lights on it. Thank you very much, Billy Whitehouse of Wearable Experiments. I'm Simon Castle and this is Digits.